Colegio de San Gabriel Arcangel Incorporated. Recognized by DepEd. Test the Commission on Higher Education and Pakukoa. College Department. CCJE, College of Criminal Justice, Education. CTHMT, College of Tourism and Hospitality, Management, Technology. CCSA, College of Computer Studies and Engineering. COB, College of Business. CMAC, College of Medical Allied Courses. College of Education. Class, College of Liberal Arts and Social Science. TechVoc, Technical, Vocational Department. Tayo po'y manalangin at dami na ang presensya ng Panginoon. Iyoko po natin ang ating mga ulo sa kala ng Ama, ng Anak, ng Espiritu Santo. Amen. Uh, Panginoon, nagpapasalamat po kami sa umagang ito at binigyan mo kami na panabagong buhay at pag-asa. Maraming salamat po sa mga blessings na natatanggap namin sa araw-araw. Patawarin po kami sa mga sala na nagagawa namin at dalangin po namin na bumalik na po sa normal ang lahat na nakapag-aral po ang mga estudyante ng face-to-face at darangin, darangin po namin na gabayan niyo po ang mga mag-aaral at guro sa Kuleyo de San Gabriel Arcangel. Yun lamang po ang aming samot dalangin sa umagang ito. Amen. Sa 
Good morning, everyone. I am Carlo Flores Mahalalag, and I graduated my bachelor's degree in information technology here at Colegio de San Gabriel Alcatel last July 2021 at 34 years old and as a working student. I could say that I was a very smart student. I graduated salutatorian at BBE Elementary Central School. I was also voted as the school governor at Sapampale National High School when I graduated way back in 2003. And I started college uh, at the University of the Philippines, Manila. But then I stopped college at 2005 in the middle of the second year, second semester. Why? Well, I decided to work and live independently away from my family. I started working at the age of 17 initially as a student assistant in, or assistant in the university. And when I left UP, I kept myself busy with other work as a freelancer to support both myself and my family. I actually enjoyed that lifestyle of independence and adventure for seven years. I went to places and different people, I met different people along the way. 2011, I started with the BPO industry. Freelancing was very fun, but there also came a time that I needed more stability in life. I started na bulol sa English, but back then, ang inisip ko lang, wala akong pera, and uh, I needed work. It's as simple as that. And fortunately enough, a uh, BPO company welcomed me with wide arms wide, uh, with arms wide open. I've worn different hats as a technical support representative, as a trainer, as a team lead, HR, QA, and lastly IT. The BPO industry was very generous and lenient, lalo na sa mga katulad ko na undergraduate. It gave me the opportunity to work kahit na undergrad ako. I've learned so many things that I have never learned uh, at school. Nakaipon din ako ng sariling bahay. Actually, dalawa. Uh, but kidding aside, the BPO gave me the chance to live the life that I wanted in spite of my deficiencies and flaws. It also gave me the opportunity to go back to my studies while working. I've gained trends and experiences. And I'd like to think that the BPO industry made me a better person in general. But the million dollar question is, and probably this is the reason why I'm speaking in front of you right now, bakit pa nga ba ako bumalik sa school kahit na may maayos naman na akong trabaho? That's actually a question I've heard multiple, multiple times already. And with that, I have three points. Number one, you can be a lot without a degree. Napatunayan ko yan in my 10 years of experience in the BPO industry. But believe me when I say that you can be a lot more. Promotion was very hard, lalo na pag wala kang degree. Kahit anong skill set mo, if you're an undergraduate, most likely you'll be shortlisted. You'll also be trapped. I also attempted to apply to other companies but uh, I have failed several times. The second point is finding your happiness. There would come a time that you think that working is no longer happy for you. If you're all work and no play, you're just a robot, just a machine. You're just someone that only knows either the aking se o kaya yung katapasan. And again, believe me when I say, there is more to life than just working. And if you take the time to really think about it and assess yourself, you know at the end of the day, you deserve to be happy. Now, the third point that I wanted to share with you is to think of your future because no one will think of it but you. Develop yourself. Make yourself future-proof. This pandemic has made us realize that no one is lo no longer safe. And at the end of the day, we all have to survive. So pag may chance na pagbutihin mo ang sarili mo, take it without hesitation. 
take the leap and be brave. Walang ibang gagawa niyan para sa iyo kundi ikaw lang. And never, never ever forget the ones that helped you along the way. Sino man sila at saan man sila naroon. With that, I'd like to thank again Colegio de San Gabriel Arcangel for giving me this opportunity. Doctors Gabriel and Lucina Oriarte to Sir Charles Bryan, to all of the professors and non-teaching staff, and especially the students. Manatili po tayong diktas, and may God bless us all. Thank you. Cheers to all that.
mo sa richer dream Sinimulan with purity Now heading to university